We're here with Remedy Fast, uh, my childhood hero. He actually got me into reading and being part of the fantasy world. So uh, it's a great honor to meet you. I actually have no idea. You've been um, really excited. I have been very excited to meet you. And um, I'm going to ask a few questions to just let the fans know a little bit more about you and, and how you got into writing and all that. So when did it, when did this all start? I mean, when did you start The Magician, your very first book? I started dabbling with the idea of telling a story in 1977. Oh, wow. Okay. And I series about it in 78, finished Magician late in 78, and it took a year and a half to find a publisher. Okay. And then it took two years in production to get it. This is back in the dark ages when we actually set type with a linotype machine. Oh, jeez. And they scheduled books a year in advance because of just warehousing and shipping requirements. Yes. When there were no computers, yeah. everything was by, you know, this and that. There were, but I mean, we didn't run a business on a yeah. Commodore, Commodore 64. 64 or, a, or a, you know, Pet, or a Commodore Pet, or a Amiga, or a yeah. the Apple II. You know, <laughs> So, so, you, so that's how it all actually started for you, was, uh, was a great role. Just to see how you did Oh, okay, okay. And, and after the success of Magi uh, the, the Magician, I mean, um, how did it feel to you? I mean, to, to know well, that you made a success? It was a bit odd, because the way publishing works, and I won't really go on it, uh, I, I knew I did okay because I got an offer to do two more. <laughs> okay. At that point, I felt pretty confident that I could get by. Yes. And then Dark Nights of Sethel, in my third book in paperback, hit the New York Times bestseller list. Oh, yes, I remember in that. In America, that is when your life changes. Yeah. That is when you go from being just a writer to a writer who gets a lot of attention. Yes. And I get a lot of attention. <laughs> here I am, 30 odd years later, and I'm still getting attention. <laughs> yeah, that's fine with that. That's really awesome. That's it's actually awesome to hear. So, so uh, another good question that, that my brother actually asked me was, um, what, 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 what brought on uh, doing the Empire series, uh, the entire series after uh, after the first saga? That, that was a long, involved stick. The story was a short version. Of it. There was a writer I read in high school named Lawrence Burrell. Yeah. He wrote a wonderful series of books called The Alexandria Quartet, okay. in which he told exactly the same story four times. Each time from a point of view of a different character. Oh, okay. So he told it. Uh, the four, four books were Montaigne, Clee, Balthazar, and Justine. And okay. Those are the four characters. Yeah. So early on, uh, in Darkness of Southern, I said, I'm going to tell the other side of the world. I'm okay. going to do a long story. I'll tell the work from the Serrani point of view. Yes, yes. But that didn't really happen exactly the way I intended. Okay. Instead, it, it morphed into. The uh, Empire series. Okay. And uh, I, I don't know why, but I wanted a female character. Okay. And I knew, never having been a teenage girl, I needed help. <laughs> so it took me a year to talk Jamie and co writing with me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I'm so glad I did. I'm particularly proud of that series. Of yeah. Andrew, oh, that's really awesome. And uh, your your recent book, King of Ashes. Uh, what 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 um, what inspired you to write this this, this well, book? First of all, I was hallucinating one morning and woke up in that sort of lucid dreaming state. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it says, as as I just came awake, a voice in my head said, "Who's the King of Ashes?" And I'm like, okay. And either I just had a you know transient ischemic attack, minor stroke. <laughs> okay. Or old drugs from the sixties are kicking in. <laughs> visited by a disembodied spirit, whatever. <laughs> but the title, King of Ashes, okay, I have no idea, but that's a good title. Yeah, it's a good yeah. title, and, it is. Uh, okay, so then I decided that I wanted an anti mechemia I wanted a little fantasy world. Okay. Very different. Yeah. And uh, a variety of things delayed it, so it took a lot longer to write than I anticipated, but I finally got the book out. And then to my great relief, people seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> because it's sort of like reinventing the wheel. Yeah. You know, new series, new new characters, new yeah. world. And I thought, okay, obviously, thank heaven people haven't thrown the book at me. <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. It actually is good to hear. All right, so we're, we're actually running out of time here. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye to, to our, our viewers here. And uh, obviously, Remedy Fox will be doing the same. I can't even do my questions, I know, but um, I'm sure it's fun. Raymond, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate you sitting down with us. I know you're very busy. 
and um, I plan on buying The King of Ashes very soon and actually reading it myself because it, it looks like it's going to be an awesome series. And um, yes, guys, get out there, buy Remedy Fast's new book, and honestly, start from the magician. You have no idea how awesome that book is. Guys, we'll see you again soon. Thank you and enjoy.